Praise the Lord, beloved. Today, let's talk about sowing and reaping. Let's turn to the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7, 8, and 9. Do not be deceived. God is not mock. For whatever a man sow, that he will also reap. For he who sow to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sow to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow worried while doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Beloved, I want to encourage you this morning. Continue to do good. Continue to decree and declare good things into your life, into your children's life, into your loved one's life. The things that the Lord has done for you and what God is about to do. Just be thankful. You are not in a mortuary. You are alive. You are not in a mug. You are not consuaded. Some people are out here, but spiritually, they are incarcerated. Beloved, stop getting worried. Beloved, the Lord has done so much things for you in life. You have acquired so much. Look at your age and look at your colleagues, your peers that you grew up with, where they are. I've had people always saying things that, oh, I want to get rich. I want to get success. I need to apply some skills, some things, some kind of skills that I've, I've, I've learned throughout my years on this app. Some people say, I just want to be in a relationship with God. Some of them say, I just want to have a relationship with my wife and my husband. Some of them say, I just want to lose weight. Some of them say, I just want to work hard so that I can acquire things. These are all sowing into your life. Things that you say. Some of them say, I just want to get rid of the demons that I've acquired all these years that have been pursuing me. Do you know what? Because of the places where you go, the people that you hang out with, those people, whatever they are doing, beloved, it will happen to you. If for you, how can you say all these things, all the good things that the Lord have done for you? Continue to say it when you declare and declare uh, declare it into your loved one's life. It shall come to pass. Beloved, someone let's say, I just need to be to have enough money into my bank account. Somebody will say, I just want to have enough to live off. Somebody will say, I'll be all right because I'm a human like everyone else. I am not expecting or exempted for anything else. Sally, those words that you produce to be in your life or in others' life become prophetic. Once, once you are sowing evil words into your life, into your loved ones, into your children's life, even when you're in marriage, you say, I am done, I am tired. Even with your children, I am tired, I am tired. Those are words that you are sowing. These words will germinate. Those are the words that the devil dwell on. The devil keep pouring water on it. The devil keep pouring water on it. Keep saying good things even when the kids are not doing fine. But with God, they are doing fine. God is working on them. But you say that my children will be great. My lovers will be great. Don't get yourself worried because of what others are doing, other children are doing, what they are acquiring. Just thank, be thankful. The Lord has given them to you. The, the Lord is the one that brought you these children. The Lord is the one that brought you into this family. The Lord is the one that brought you this far. Don't get worried. So good words into your life. Beloved, if you believe today, that the Lord has done so much for you, and yet He will continue to do so much. And the God of chances, He will continue to do chances. Just thank Him and praise Him. Those are good sowing in your life. God bless you.